Here's the problem with 2022. So find all integers n such that the sum of these two radicals is also an integer, that is, a signed whole number. We begin by letting each radical be equal to a new variable. Here we'll use a and b as those new variables. We can express the equations without some of the radicals by squaring them. This allows us to write and set up a system of equations involving a and b that will help us figure this problem out. Adding their squares, we get a squared plus b squared equals 4044. And multiplying their squares yields 2022 squared minus n. Next. Our goal is to find a plus b as an integer, so we'll build our notion of what a plus b should look like. All right, so we're gonna let a plus b equal the integer m. With a little help now from a familiar formula from algebra, we're gonna put these two things together. If the square of a binomial is expanded and rearranged, we can make a connection between a plus b and the product a times b. Check this out. Making a substitution of our integer m, as well as one of the equations from our system, a squared plus b squared equals 4044, we get the following equation m squared minus 4044 is equal to 2ab. Okay, a little review about integers. The set of integers can be partitioned or split up into two sets, the evens and the odds. Now, anytime we take two even numbers or two odd numbers or an even and an odd number and add them together, they produce a very specific result. E plus E equals E, meaning even plus even equals an even. E plus O is O, meaning an even plus odd is odd, and so on. Also, the product of two even numbers or the product of an even and odd or the product of an odd and an odd comes out a very specific way. Now, playing around with the equation m squared minus 4044 equals 2ab, we can show that m squared is an even number. Using our new equation, we can show now that the integer m is even. a plus b is an even number. Splitting into two cases, either both are even, a and b, or both are odd. So now if m is an even number, that is an even integer, we can write it as two times k, where k is some other integer. Our equation now then becomes 2k squared minus 2022 is equal to the product a times b. Since a times b has a greatest common factor of 2, well that means that a squared b squared is also an even number. Both a and b definitely have to be even.
So now that we've looked at the internal structure of the problem, let's look at our simplified equation for AB and substitute in from our system of equations, a squared, b squared. And from this then we get an equation that is involving n. That's a good thing. That's gonna allow us to find values for n that solve our problem. We finally get n is equal to 4k squared multiplied by 2022 minus k squared. Recall what a and b are. a is the square root of 2022 plus square root of n. b is the square root of 2022 minus square root of n. We can now put bounds on n. First, we're going to require that n has to be greater than or equal to 0, otherwise the square root of n will be unreal. So then we can apply the expression for n and set that greater than or equal to 0 to put some boundaries on k squared. It's also worth noting here that the product AB equal to 2k squared minus 2022 is also greater than or equal to zero. This allows us to put a better lower bound on k squared, making k squared greater than or equal to 1011. Okay, now putting these together, we have k squared sitting between 1011 and 2022. That would put k as an integer between 32 and 44. So this gives us bounds on k, which now gives us a range of values for n. Using the equation connected to the two, n is equal to 4k squared times 2022 minus k squared. We will generate a table of values for these, all the values of n, that will make the sum of the two radicals involving 2022 that we were interested in equal to an integer itself. Letting our values for k run between 32 and 44, we can generate values for k squared and thus for the values of n. And there we have it. All the values of n that will make the sum of those two radicals an integer. I'm glad that we could figure it out. And with that, I want to wish everyone a happy new year and healthy 2022.